Welcome to our town hall on the Infinite Loop campus. I'd like to address something that I know is on the minds of many people this morning. About a month ago, we asked Americans across the country to join in a conversation. How much power the government should have over our data and over our privacy. We did not expect to be in this position at odds with our own government, but we believe strongly that we have a responsibility to help you protect your data and protect your privacy. This is an issue that impacts all of us and we will not shrink from this responsibility. We understand that we have an opportunity and a responsibility. So we want to get started this morning by talking about two initiatives where we are working hard to leave the world better than we found it. We'd like to start with the environment. And I'd like to invite Lisa Jackson up. Thank you. Thanks so much. Just like everything we do at Apple, when we think about the environment, we think about innovation. Now the solution is energy efficiency and renewable energy. In Sichuan Province, China, we found a way to build a 40 megawatt solar farm without disturbing the local population. That solar project is producing more than enough electricity to power our 34 retail stores and our 19 offices in the country. That makes our facilities there carbon neutral. Now while we're focused on conservation, let me tell you about another way we're working to preserve our planet's resources. And that's through reuse and recycling. Many recycling systems today waste much of the material they collect, so it can't be reused. Let me introduce you to a pretty cool R&D project. We call him Liam. When it's time, Liam deconstructs your iPhone. Parts are detected and removed and separated. The second initiative we'd like to talk about this morning is health. I'd like to invite up Jeff Williams. Jeff. Last year, we introduced Research Kit. The research studies that we launched became some of the largest in history, with tens of thousands of people signing up. The very same tools used to advance medical research can also be used to help people with their care. Let me give you an example. In the Parkinson's study, uh, patients do tests several times a day on their iPhone, like the simple tap test you saw in the video. So today, we're launching Care Kit. CareKit is a framework to build apps that empower people to take a more active role in their care. We have been absolutely humbled and inspired by the response to ResearchKit, and we can't wait to see what great apps get created with CareKit. Thank you. Now I'd like to talk about products, and I'll get started with the Apple Watch. Today we're introducing some brand new colors and a new band that's made from a whole different material. Our new woven nylon band features a unique four-layer construction. It comes in a variety of vibrant colors. There's new sport and leather bands in all new colors, and there's a stunning space black Melanie's loop. So beginning today, Apple Watch will start at just $2.99. Now I'd like to talk about Apple TV. Since the Apple TV has been shipping, we have 5,000 apps on the App Store. Now, of course, tvOS powers the Apple TV, and at the heart of the Apple TV experience is Siri. With Siri, you can just ask for something great to watch. We've added some great content app for, for Siri to search. We've got more coming, and we'll keep adding more over time. Now we've got some other great features coming to Apple TV, like folders and dictation. So you can now use your voice to enter text on the screen. This includes usernames and passwords. And now you can access your entire iCloud photo library, including live photos, right on your big screen. All of this is available as a free update beginning today. Now I'd like to talk about iPhone. 
iPhone is the most loved smartphone in the world. And today we're welcoming a new member to the iPhone family. And as you may have heard, we're calling it the iPhone SE. So we start with this beloved aluminum design, but we've made some beautiful refinements, including this gorgeous rose gold finish. We've added matte chamfered edges and an inset stainless steel Apple logo, just like the iPhone 6S. So at the heart of the iPhone SE, of course, is our chips, our amazing Apple A9 chip. This means that the iPhone SE has the same processing performance as the iPhone 6S. And the iPhone SE also has the same incredible graphics performance as the iPhone 6S, which is three times faster. The iPhone SE delivers incredible battery improvements across the board. And of course, people love taking photos with their iPhones more than any other phone or camera. So we've given it our incredible 12 megapixel EyeSight camera with focus pixels. And we have, of course, that image signal processor from the A9 that enables all kinds of great features like the panorama pictures up to 63 megapixel, but also improvements to video, slow-mo, time-lapse, and of course, your photos. I didn't know what you're thinking, but that is not Bill Schiller skateboarding to work. And the iPhone SE can capture live photos. So you can take your, photo, your still photos and have them come to life. It can even capture 4K video. And just like the iPhone 6S, you can edit up to two simultaneous streams of 4K video with iMovie right on the iPhone SE. We now have LTE speeds that are 50% faster than the iPhone 5S. And we've added more LTE bands so you have better global roaming. And of course, high fidelity call quality with voice over LTE. And we've given it high speed Wi-Fi as well, 802.11ac which is three times faster than the iPhone 5S. And now you can make easy, secure, and private payments with Apple Pay. Well, we're going to start the price of the iPhone SE at only $399. And we have a higher capacity 64 gigabyte model for just $499. Of course, we know installment plans have become incredibly popular, and the iPhone SE now starts at just $17 per month. We'll begin taking orders for the iPhone SE this Thursday, March 24th, and it'll be available next week, March the 31st. And for the last couple of months, we've been testing iOS 9.3, which is one of the biggest dot releases we've ever done. Let's start with Night Shift. So Night Shift automatically shifts the colors of the display to the warmer end of the spectrum, which may help you sleep better at night. Notes, let's talk about Notes. Notes is actually one of the most used apps on the platform. It's used by literally hundreds of millions of people every day. Well, today we're adding the ability to further protect your most personal notes with a passcode or fingerprint. News. We introduced Apple News with iOS 9, so we're adding top stories to make it easier to track your news on your iPhone or iPad. So that's just some of the highlights of iOS 9.3. We think it's turned out really great and it's gonna make the best mobile experience even better. And it's available as a free update for all of you today. Next up is iPad. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to invite up Phil Schiller. People love iPad Pro. It is a revolutionary device. And so that's why today we're so excited to introduce you to, for the first time, the second member of the iPad Pro family. An entirely new iPad Pro based around a 9.7 inch retina display. It is 40% less reflective than an iPad Air 2. And it's brighter too, 25% brighter than an iPad Air 2. This is the best display we've ever built for an iPad. In addition, it supports two really breakthrough features. It works with night shift. The brightness dims a bit, the blue light wavelengths get reduced, and some people find that makes it easier to get to sleep. But the second feature, it's incredibly innovative. We call it a true tone display. No matter where you use it, it automatically senses the color temperature of the light, and becomes warmer or cooler, and matches paper white, and is really natural. And in the new iPad Pro, we've put our most advanced camera yet. It's a 12 megapixel EyeSight camera with its focus pixels, true tone flash, that amazing image signal processor built into the A9X. The iPad Pro comes in four metal finishes, silver, gold, space gray, and for the first time, rose gold as well. We're really excited to offer a 32 gigabyte iPad Pro for just 599, for 128 gigs, for 749, and for the first time ever in an iOS device, there's a configuration now with 256 gigabyte of storage. This is the best lineup we've ever had of iPads by far. Next year, in 2017, we're looking forward to moving. And we expect that we're gonna have many, many opportunities to invite all of you to join us there. Thank you very much.